Hi, and welcome to the Clarity Working with Risks, Issues, and Changes. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. In this video, you will learn about how to manage risks, issues, and change requests for a project in Clarity. Let us start by reviewing how most PMOs define risks, issues, and changes. A risk is a problem that could happen in the future and impact the time, cost, scope, or quality of your project. When you identify a risk, you typically plan for probability, impact, and mitigation. An issue is a problem that has already happened. It's an open question or decision that will need to be answered to ensure the project deliverables do not get impacted. A change request is created when you review changes made typically to mitigate risks. These changes impact the already approved project charter and plans and could impact the cost, time, scope, and quality of the project. Let us log into Clarity to create risks, issues, and changes for a project. Let's open a project and navigate to the Risks module. Let us add a risk to the project. Let us give it a name. Choose UI Pattern for Product Update and select the category as Human Interface. Many fields including Priority, Probability, Impact, and Status are auto-populated. You can edit them based on your current situation. Let's enter the ID and assign the risk to a stakeholder to create the risk in Clarity. Let's add one more risk to the project. The risk highlights the issues customers may face while upgrading to the latest version of the software. Select the category as Supportability. Enter the ID and assign the risk to Rita. You can edit the values either directly in the grid or by using the Details panel. You can change the priority and impact to high in the grid. You can observe that the calculated risk changes to medium. It was auto-populated when the risk was created. Let's select the risk and open the Details panel. Let's use the Conversations tab to post a message to the relevant stakeholders. You can see a tick mark in the Conversations column for this risk. Let us configure the Details tab to add the field Include in Status Reporting. Flagging specific risks in the Project Status Report allows the project manager to review them with stakeholders. Did you notice that Is Above Threshold is disabled? Administrators can use Classic PPM to enable this option. Let's log in as the Administrator and select Risk Settings. Here you can see the risk threshold is set to zero. Let us change it to three and save it. Let's navigate to Clarity and go back to the Risks module. Refresh the page. Did you notice the tick mark under is above threshold is removed for this risk? This is because the risk threshold is set to 3. Let us go to the classic PPM and change the risk threshold to 0. You can see the matrix for risk calculation. Let's consider an example where the impact is low and probability is high. In such a scenario, the calculated risk is medium. You can modify the calculated risk based on the estimation of the probable outcome. Let us get back to Clarity. Let us add a filter to review the risks with high priority and high impact. Let's save this view and mark it as a favorite. After we have a discussion with the team, we can now add the resolution field from the column panel and associate resolutions with the risks. Because we have identified a resolution, let's update the status of the risk and open the Issues module. Next, let us navigate to the Issues module. It is similar to the Risks module. 
Let us add an issue and give it a name, Requested Resource Not Available. Select the category type as Resource Availability and enter an ID. Now assign this issue to Paul Burks. All the other fields are auto-populated. Let us move on to the Changes module and add a change request. Let's give it a name, select the category type, and enter an ID. We can now assign this change request to the relevant stakeholder. Next, let us go back to Risks. You can associate issues with Risks. Add associated issues using the column panel. Now, add the existing issue to the Risk. Similarly, let us link the issues and change requests with risks. So let us navigate to the issues module. Add a field called Originating Issue Risk from the column panel. This field is disabled. Let us go to the classic PPM and create a chain between risks, issues, and change requests. Let us navigate to Home Select Projects. Here is a list of projects available. Let us select our project and go to the Risks, Issues, and Changes. Open the risk titled Upgrade to Latest Version. Now create an issue for this risk. Add an ID and description to the issue indicating the training team is not available. Let us save and return to the risk page. Similarly, create a change request for this risk. Add an ID and description to the change request indicating that we're outsourcing the training. Let us save and return to the risk page. Again, click Save and Return. Now let us go back to Clarity. Here you can observe the originating issue risk field with the risk ID RS2020. Similarly, you can see the originating details for this change request. Let us navigate to the Risks module and explore one more feature. Clarity allows you to export the details of risks, issues, and changes to CSV. You can group the risks by using the Group By option. Here you see a list of risks with high impact. You can clear the grouping by closing the Group By option. Select a row and right-click to delete it, so the risk will be deleted from the list. Now you know how to manage risks, issues, and change requests in Clarity. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.